I'm doing this Prince of Persia nonsense. Uh, yeah. To be fair, I've heard people on the radio talk for like 10 minutes and laughing their head off at... They're talking about how a signal bounces off servers in different countries and they find this hilarious that the signal's gone through different countries to, to get out onto yeah. the radio on the internet. And they're laughing. I, I don't know what they're laughing at. You see, I... <laughs> I've got a couple of instances like that. Like, um... There's a telephone exchange directly outside my flat. Hmm. I'm connected to the one in the park two miles away. Hmm. Because my ISP thought, that's a good idea. We'll route it that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, what was I was saying. Um, but yeah, so you got, like, when you say French, you usually mean a specific dialect of the group of languages and dialects that were spoken in mm. what is now northern France and, you know, a little bit of Belgium and whatnot. Well, I mean... And then you have, sorry. in southern southern France, like uh, the Provençal and what's called the Languedoc, uh, well, it's it's a different language. It's it's not even like, oh, it's a, it's a weird dialect. No, it's it's like, it's a, it's a separate language. It's, it's closer to Catalan in Spain than it is to... Um, than it is to Frenchy French. But French uh, has decided it is the only valid expression of French, and anything spoken within France is a kind of French, and it's a dialect that they're getting wrong. Well, so, the, uh, the French have the language police. They do. As do uh, um, Montreal. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's, it's not how languages work. But they work in a... Subtly different ways. Okay, good. I, I thought this was going to be like rod number two. Now that wasn't quite right. Okay. Well, I'm stumped. But uh, then um, in Montreal, the language police make sure that anything that is displayed in if you want to put up a sign that says Andy's Cafe I have to put up a thing first so that it's in a bigger font in French and then it says Andy's Cafe and they they will okay did you uh, you can see a pit look at the drink what? There was an old iron grate. Yes. Below it was a pit. Carjack doesn't want to work. There was a change. You just tried to mix it with nothing. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, use the. First of all. Yes. You you've used the you tried to use the the carjack on the grate. Yes. What do you say? It didn't work. It just flat out didn't work. That wasn't the right. Approach. Okay, because it. Oh wait, no, it's not. So just have you tried just using the grate on its own? That wasn't quite right. Uh, uh, yeah, just trying to use the grates. Yeah, there we go. The hinges. The hinges are, are rusty, so you need something to free up the hinges. Do I have to backtrack all the way to that oil? Yep. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Go to the... Uh, look around. There should be a drain pipe somewhere. Oh, somewhere yes. Somewhere on the bricked patio. I found that. It's in a little courtyard area. Over here. So. I thought about it, but decided not to. <laughs> I mean, it's a logical solution, but. Uh, what, what are you trying to do? I'm. I had thought, use boxer shorts to get whatever slimy lubricating junk is on this pole. No, no, no. Don't you laugh, Connor? Grease up the hinges with that. Now, uh, have you examined the uh, the drain pipe? Yeah, but we were talking about French, so. No drain pipe, rusted and bent. Rusted and bent. An offshoot. Offshoot pipe blocked by an old tin cup. So take the tin cup. Tin cup. There we go. Okay, now we go back to the storage room. <sighs> I seem to recall this being quite a ways away. Let's find out. Firework has sensible flat shoes. 
Is that a character design or just part of the figurine you're holding? I've just noticed in the figurine. I've never looked at a feed that long. Why would I'm not that I'm not Peter. Why would Spy <laughs> why would um why would Spider Gwen wear shoes? Because Spider Man doesn't wear shoes. Spider Man wears shoes. No, he doesn't. It, yeah, it's a it, little it goes straight over it's like uh There's little it's, boosies. No, it's um it's like socks going over his feet. It's like he's got like big feety pajamas on is what he's wearing because he's got to have his bare feet on the wall to grip with the spider feet. Game, you knew what I was doing. The oil started to drip again. There we go. I collected a small amount of oil in the old car. This is just needless busy work. As soon as I to use a yeah. favorite phrase of the of Stonehenge regarding this ah. game. Turns comes up a lot. Pop. What? Fun so for people who aren't watching on the stream, go ahead, Connor. It's a bobble head. I didn't know it was a bobble head. The head barely moves, though. I know, and it doesn't it doesn't look like it's supposed to, but it's still on a spring. And aren't you why? gonna Aren't you gonna put her on a shelf and just look at her sometimes? Yeah. Why does her leg look like it's snapped? That She's halfway through taking a step. Yeah, it's a it's a three quarter turn it's, to show off more of the thigh muscles. It's dynamic. For people who studied posing, that's what that is. I hope the oil would free the hinges. Drop me through the grate. I hope he tries to do lift. it. I hope he tries to lift it while he stood on it. Oh, first I had hoped. Just try, just try and lift it. I had hoped that it was going to be like. Here goes. For some reason, it opens inwards. Mm. So it drops me like Wily Coyote. I'm gonna stop that because it'll pick the recording. It may just. Now jump into this black featureless void. 1001 uses for lamp oil. It's an anagram for something. Pool. I don't know. Cock grease. I'm sure that's an improvement in the commentary from talking about language. <laughs> we love you really, Connor. You called us boring. <laughs> now who's salty? <laughs> Me! <laughs> this is just retroactively giving me more that I have to leave in. I'm gonna edit stuff out and no. then come back to it and go, ugh. Why would they march us to the foot of the stairs? Uh, a companion of Paul walk down the stairs, because that's where they're stationed anyway. Get back to standing there! So she, you don't even have to do any, um, any bluffing, she just bluffs on your behalf. Miserable yeah. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Tell me you can go up behind him and clap him round the head with Todd. Is that the first instance of, like, actual... Legitimate swearing. swearing, English swearing in this game. Because sure mm. I know that Nico has thrown down um, Salop a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Bastion logo. A double compliment on the perimeter, ma'am. No one gets in the house without us knowing. Guaranteed. Bastion, or as in Bastion take point because I'm Mercy. Oh, uh, you mean we should put down both. <laughs> I mean, okay. I wouldn't play as Bastion, but still. I am Mercy for life, and I will fight you. Ironically. <laughs> first day on the job, and we've lost. It's my first day. I'm only 40 quack, years quack, from quack. retirement. Quack, quack, quack. Pencil? It's the name of my high school band. Oh! Do you want to see a trick with this pencil? Can kill a man using these. Yeah, basically, it's a disappearing Benson <laughs> trick. Oh my god, did, did the Joker rip off Broken Sword? We may never know. I don't think they're going to show the disappearing pencil trick. Anyways, we are now free to roam. Go out there to are... the foyer. You reckon because oh, yeah. this door and the one over here are the doors that it didn't want me to go through? Oh yeah, they're... They put... There is no... Oh, there is. Or is it a case that these doors are also painted on? Ooh, Ooh look at this tech! 
Was Facebook out by the time this was a thing? Oh. Oh. One of these should just be Facebook or Solitaire or something. Look oh, at wow. Photoshop! That is f just straight up one of the developers using Photoshop. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever seen Thumbs? I have not seen Thumbs. Where it's like a, they like did movie parodies with just having like oh, yeah, 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 Rotoscope mouths on Thumbs. Yes. That's what her animation looks like. Yep. You know when you have the, what's it called, the animation technique where instead of moving your mouth, you just have like footage of someone's mouth talking? I I, I know what you mean. Yeah, um, that's what it looks like. Annoying orange style. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she looks like. Since there are people here who seem to have a vaguely similar TV taste to me growing up, does anybody remember This Morning with Richard, Not Judy? No. Oh. Because they had a segment on that called um, The Curious Orange. Hmm. And I am certain that it's a precursor to The Annoying Orange. Because it's basically the same thing, just a, an orange with a human face going, I wonder why people cry. <laughs> like... <laughs> It was. Is it because I put citrus in their eyes? It. I would not be surprised if that was a line of dialogue. But like, it it, it was a good example of like Reeves and Mortimer level non sequitur <laughs> garbage humor that I found hilarious. Big potatoes <laughs> in my life. And to show you how exciting this section in, I need to say Bruges. Prague has been, we're still flashing back to two hours ago in Paris. <laughs> uh, I, I, it, I don't think it's possible to bring up Bruges in, a, in this kind of let's play because it just, it, might, it leads on to certain things that we'd have to bleep. No. Is it the movie in Bruges? Well, yeah. It's like the reaction to everyone when they hear Bruges. <laughs> There's a very good. No, you hear that if dog? you're into that, oh, the dog's name is Rascal. Apparently, we were supposed things? to do something inside to do something outside. Am I the only things Rottweilers are adorable? Well, I don't like dogs, so I'm not keen on dogs. I'm a cat person. Cats. <sighs> Cats don't like me, I don't like cats, we just said uh, Like, me and Ember, we just sort of... Oh, you're back. <laughs> See? Hi. My, my cats like me, and I like my cats. They're adorable, and they're friendly. I will give you the I like You see? Cats. Yeah. But do your cats do the dog thing of just running up to you like, YEAH! Whenever you come through the door. Well, not like, yeah, but they run up to you like, hey! It's Hi. you! You're over here! Oh, and then enough. they walk around me in a circle a couple of times and they say, can I have some food? <laughs> some, sometimes Puss will do like the it Timmy fell down the well up. bit. Like he'll he'll come into my room, meow at me, and leave. Come back, meow at me, and leave. And come back until I follow him. And then he takes me downstairs to say a toy he can't reach, <laughs> or a food bowl he thinks is slightly too empty, or if he can't find Shani. What is that? Shani is the other cat. Okay. I have only ever heard of you and your parents talk about Puss. Puss. We've had Puss for a bit longer. Led me through this obvious security door. Any news? Flat top. It's been pretty quiet. <laughs> no one's getting in or out. It's like the fourth time we've done this. Mm. Did no fielding voice this guy? I, I Top shop. Top shop. Bizarrely, that is apparently one of the most quoted things at No Fielding and Julian Barrett. It's just people will go, go, hey, Top shop. Um, there are jokes, but no. no <laughs> I am the moon. I saw him live and the moon was in it. It was great. <laughs> That's the main thing I remember and like. What was the question? Uh, yes. Just say yes. Say yes. <laughs> yes. We've spoken. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Now I will fill in the gap. 
You were told that there is a there's a security sergeant in the courtyard who has your security card. Gotcha. Would he be the guy who has the dog? No, that's another guy. There are a lot of guards in the courtyard. Well, yeah, but only one of them is a sergeant. Okay, let's go back outside. Now that we've raised some flags. Raised the dead. I thought you were going to talk about the game, Rascal. Because I, I vaguely remember that and I have very fond memories. I remember that you had a gun that shoot bubbles and that's all I remember from Rascal. Rascal was just crystallized 90s. Yeah, it had a We kid. may have to dig it up. No, we need to dig up Croc. <laughs> I have a copy of Croc. The legend of the Gobos. It's on my shelf. We've been playing this for a little while, we've got an hour left. We've played a bit of Croc. Yes! <laughs> that's how you can make this up to me. <laughs> Let's find the key and then we'll do that thing that we just said. Which may have been edited out. Okay. So we are looking for Staff Sergeant Pepper. Lonely hearts. I want to... I once had plans for this like... It was a comic strip that for some reason went off the rails and there was like aliens in it and they were the condiment people Because and the main character was um, Dr. Salt and Sergeant Pepper because I figured that would be legally distinct because it's just a pepper a, pe a, a pepper mill I think mayonnaise was the medic because it's It, it seems like a uh, like a, a softer more gentle condiment it was one of my more weird non sequitur junk thing. I didn't know fluff existed at the time. Because it's soft and light. Hello, Spotlight! Yes, it is in the brick courtyard. Standing there in front of the trucks under the arch. Wait, did. Is the arch, well, there's not the arch there, or is there another arch? There's another arch. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember this. There are some trucks in one of these because we have to sneak around them. This is not that one. Oh, wait a second. No, because I don't have to do like circuitous free roaming, I'm pretty sure I can just go straight to where I was before. Maybe. Yeah, like here, because this is the courtyard that's got. That's the, that's the oh no, it's climbing puzzles. Okay. Who reset these blocks? God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Apparently it was vitally important that somebody put these blocks in the right place. This place is a mess. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know you. I am Madame Pippa. <laughs> <laughs> then why didn't you shoot her? Of course, ma'am. Uh, Actually, yeah, know. if they're on shoot on sight. <laughs> yeah, but I suppose someone comes up to you saying, Why is why the right around? He's like, oh, they must be here. Maybe they work yeah, I suppose if if I were infiltrating a base, I would have better things to shout at guards than this place, this place is a mess. It'd be like, hey, what's that sound? Oh, go to the steps right of Raptor, so the second, so where you just were. Yeah, and out one of the side entrances by the guard at the other side, or you can do it the George way by moving crates up the wall and up to the guard with the dog path. That's the brickyard. Sort of so thing. wait, okay, go right. <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's, let's follow instructions. Follow the directions, it will turn out right. Okay, so out to the out to one of the side entrances by the guard at the other end. So up there, I suppose. Up, up that way. Maybe can you go that way? Oh, that. Oh, okay. That isn't up. And through the this other side. is a really nice looking screen. Nope. Right. So. Yeah. I like the look of this screen. So now we need to talk to the guards near the truck. Oh, yeah. Might be that guard. Come on. I haven't got all day. Sergeant there we go. So I am Madame Petra. I have just arrived. So basically we're just wandering around being mean to people. That that's Here you are. Yep. Yeah. Petra with the We got shot in a Unvalidated card. Yeah, so now we gotta take that to the um Take it end. to the guy in the desk and he will put a stamp on it. Yeah. So we just get back there and save the game. 
We'll see. I think end of the section, I don't know. I think if we complete that, then we might. Uh, it is near the end of that section, but we wouldn't want to start a bit. Okay, why did we spawn in facing the door? Anyways... Gotta close it behind you. Hello, guy. Here is my card. I have no reason to do that. Okay. <sighs> now, it's not gonna work because it's unvalidated. I have some questions. Oh, wait a second. So do I now... Go to the technician. <laughs> hey, Ben. See ya. See ya. Oh, I thought it was like, speak to him to get like a stamp on it or something. Well, someone needs to stamp it. Oh, so it's like, um, da, da, da. you know, like hotel key cards? Uh huh. By itself, a card won't do anything. It has to put the little dealy on it that says room 312. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Why didn't they just cuss away? I'm just gonna do the hand thing to get this. Ah. That's how things get validated. As I have, I have tried to make games before in the past, and I have heard from other people as well that have confirmed it. Like making people hand someone something to another and it look remotely realistic is the hardest thing you can do in games development. No, it, it it's it's up there with like sleeping under the covers. Yeah, it's tough. It's yeah, tough. but it's one of the things that they usually do, literally by having an empty hand go past an empty hand takes. Yeah. Mm. and you, you accept that. You or, don't usually see the item, <laughs> or have it just out of shot on the bottom of the screen of like reach forward, reach forward. You don't have to show it. If you show it and it looks that garbage, don't show it. Or like best of both. You use it on the bill. Yeah, or like best of both. Or don't you yes. um. You, you represent it as a sparkly, like in Final Fantasy or Fatal Frame or something. You just, mm. I hand a sparkling thing to you and that's... Or in that case, they could have just put it on the table and then picked it up yeah. on the table, like she did for handing it back. Anyways, okay. we're going to save yeah. the mystery door till next time, so... It's next time on Stone Age Gaming. Join us next time while I attempt to learn to fly. Bye. 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 It's been a challenging mating season for bird person. <laughs>